everybody. So today we're looking at this really lovely wireless repeater. Um, you know, lots of us, I think pretty much everyone I know has Wi-Fi in their home. And one of the biggest issues, especially if you have maybe a very large home um, or you have uh, uh, a router from your internet service provider, which is pretty small in terms of, you know, wireless coverage, you know, you do have an issue of, you know, uh, dead spots in your home where there is no Wi-Fi signal at all or you know you might want to have Wi-Fi coverage that you know you can get access to the internet when you're in a garage or in, you're in your backyard or you're in your basement right and the router's on the top floor or the router's on the in the basement and you want access on the top floor so that issue can be fixed with the modern wireless repeater it's a pretty a simple a uh, piece of technology and all it does is you log into your Wi-Fi you, through your uh, wireless repeater and what it does it will take the wireless signal uh, that it intercepts from your Wi-Fi and it just amplifies it right and that becomes a new hotspot so um, you know ideally I would recommend you know if you can get one per floor depending on how many levels your building is in uh, for a typical house and uh, you're good to go. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how you know, how you set one of these up. It's pretty straightforward. I kind of just went through it just now when I just told you about how it works. But yeah, so this in this box, I got this one from Amazon. It was a little damaged, as you can see. It came like that. <laughs> so I'm hoping this one works well. Uh, they're pretty cheap, very affordable. I will have a link in the description section where you can get these. Um, and there are two modes. There is the AP mode, whereby you will connect this via a RJ45 connection through a patch cable directly to a free port on your on your um, Wi-Fi router. Uh, but what I'm going to do in this one is my Wi-Fi router is wide away, far away from this, and that's why I have it in the first place. So I'm going to go into the um, I'm going to use the repeater mode, right, where you have, as you can see in this diagram, that's the my Wi-Fi out here in my house. This is the Wi-Fi extender, and that's going to be in between that and my, uh, I have a couple of remote um, PCs in the building, so I need to get them to access that. So we're going to set up the repeater mode, all right? So let's get to it. Now it does come with a set of instructions um, in multiple languages. Um, it's not. It, it, it's pretty intuitive. I would recommend though if you have, if you're, if you don't have super, super, um, super sight, uh, in that you can see very, very, very small fine print. I recommend you know get a magnifying glass and look at this. But you know it's it's pretty easy to to read. Um, on a good light, but just in case you have vision problems, um, yeah, get a magnifying glass because uh, it's the font is pretty small. But what I like about the instructions on that though, they are pictures, so it's easy to do. So, what we're going to do is before I do that, let me just give you uh, an overview of what it looks like. So, of course, you plug this into the wall, right. Uh, so there's no messy wires, it plugs right into the wall. You can see we have our four anten antennas here, which can be adjusted. Just be careful how you adjust them because these are plastic and you don't want to snap them. Um, so it has on here a uh, Wi-Fi access point repeater, 1200M. And in here we have a series of four LEDs on the left hand side. One at the bottom is the power status. This one shows you the Wi-Fi status. And there's two other ones. This one at the very top is a picture of an RJ45 port. So if you have a connection into uh, one of these, this will light up. And I'm not sure what the second one means, but it's all good. And then on the side here, we have a button here. This button that you will press uh, when you're going to reset this to factory uh, default settings. All right, and um, you also use this button, I believe, for if you're going to be using this in AP mode. Um, I think you use this button as well. But in this case, we're going to be doing repeater mode. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is plug this into the wall. And 
And as you can see, we have the LEDs on here. The power LED is on. The Wi-Fi radio LED is on as well as, and the one at the top flashed. And I was concerned if it stayed on because that's the uh, hardwired connection um, LED and there's no patch cables on the bottom. So that should be off and that's correct. So we are good to go. Now, when you're on your smartphone, open your Wi-Fi settings. And then what you're gonna do is look for Wi-Fi repeater dash and there's gonna be four numbers. So your repeater may have a different set of numbers. Mine says 1118. That is the actual sticker number on my Wi-Fi extender. So, but yeah, look for Wi-Fi repeater. There it is. Click on it. Now, don't, don't worry that it says internet not available because you know we have not yet connected this to our main router in our home. So don't worry about that. You may see a pop-up window telling you that, hey, you're gonna to connect to this device, but there's no internet access. And here it is. But anyway, just say connect only at this time. So let's connect to it. So right now we're connected without internet. Next thing we're gonna do is click on that little gear on the far right hand side next to that. And then down below, we're gonna click on manage router. So right now you can see there's a network speed of 866 megabits per second between uh, the router and my phone. So that's pretty fast. Anyway, so let's go to manage router. And here is the router configurations page. So we're going to leave the language setting as English. I believe that's the default setting. Oh, there's also, um, I think there's Mandarin as well. But we're going to leave it as English. And I'm going to say login. Now, as you can see, there are two mode settings for this device. The first one, that's the one we're going to set up, that's the repeater mode. And that's where you have that wireless connection between your home Wi-Fi, which is on the left here, and your repeater. And that's the device that we're configuring right now. And, and then that will connect to and extend wireless connectivity to your, um, you know, tablets, PCs and whatnot in your, in your home. And that's that icon on the far hand right, far right hand side. And below that, we have the AP mode. Now with AP mode, that is if you have a wired connection between your home uh, router and your extender. And you remember on the extender, there was the RJ45 ports on the bottom. That's where you would connect your patch cable to, and that patch cable will connect back to the main router in your home. So if you wanted that mode um, to be set up, you would click the next there, but we're not using that mode. We're gonna go to the repeater mode, so on that note, we're going to click the next here. So let's click next. What it's doing now, it's scanning for my home Wi-Fi access point. So I called it Alien Hominid for this video. So let's look for that SSID. It's taken a while. Now the router I have is two channel. It's a 2.4 gig and 5 gigahertz uh, router. So you're going to see a mixture of 2.4 G Alien Hominids and 5 Gs. I'm just going to pick the one at the very top that says Alien Hominid 2.4G. And as you can see, that's the SSID. And then uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the password in there. And that's the password that I would normally use to log into my home Wi-Fi. But before you do that, at the very bottom, um, because it's a dual frequency, I don't want to have two different frequencies um, with extended SIDs. I just want to have one common name for my extender. So I'm going to click the, the tick box. I'm just going to have one extender SSID. Now it's in this field here that I um, can rename the SSID. And this is the SSID of the extender, not of my main home Wi-Fi. So right now the default, they just added EXT on it. And I'm just going to put extended. I'm going to put, just type it out, extender one. Right, so alien hominid dash extend a one, and I'm going to say, and then, and then I'm going to say next. Okay, I was just testing to see. So, what I have to do is put my password in first. So, I'm going to put the password in, and this is the password that I would normally use to log in to my main home Wi Fi, right? Because you want the extender to have those credentials so it can log into that Wi-Fi network so it can tap into the internet and tap into that, that router's radio signal and pretty much amplify it for you, right? So it can amplify it for you and give you access to the internet via the home 
router so it needs the password so I've entered in the password and I've changed updated the name to alien hominid dash extend one I want to say next and you see a tick mark so our expanded Wi-Fi connection is here so we have the name of the extender alien hominid dash extend one and that covers both the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz channels and the Wi-Fi connection that we're connect extended is the original one called alien hominid, alien hominid and I just want to say finish and what we're gonna to have to do now is wait for about 30 seconds and that will give the extender enough time to reboot so I'm in the garage and what I'm gonna do is plug in my Wi-Fi extender just give it a while to boot up now while it's booting up on my phone okay so looking at the Wi-Fi points so if you look at the alien hominid at the top the uh, number of bars it's three out of four normally that goes down even lower and there it's dropped again so it's like two out of four bars it's you know it's 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 not a constant strong signal however if you look at the alien hominid extender that is a solid full four bars and it's not moving it's not it's not fluctuating like the uh, my main connection. So as you can see, the extender is working. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to click on that extender, and I'm going to log in. It should connect automatically. And now I'm all the way in my garage, and I have a full signal. And now I can now go onto a website, news. And before it was very slow bringing the stuff up, but right now using the extender, you know. Here's our internet. It's nice and pretty fast. So guys, that is how you install your extender to extend the wireless coverage of your internet access in your home. Bye bye. So I hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you liked this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it, thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I am appreciative of that as well, so thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye-bye.